When kids receive treatment at a cure hospital, it can help set them on a new trajectory for life. It can literally change their story. I was born with club feet and when I was three years old, I had my feet operated. But since I didn't have the braces for me to be able to heal properly, my feet relapsed and I started to walk on tiptoes. So I would walk my way to school every day and what was hard and difficult for me was that I was being bullied by my classmates. When Princess was 11, a new hospital opened that specialized in treating children like her, called the Thibaut Cure Hospital. She had surgery again to straighten her feet. This time, they stayed corrected, which made life a little easier for her, and she was able to go to a new school. I was able to make new friends in my new school. So now I have more friends than when I still had club feet. On another continent, a young boy named Philip started to notice that his legs were bowing. It started about grades four to seven. Every time I would walk, my knees would hurt. It was kind of scary because I didn't know what would happen if maybe it continued, would I get my legs amputated, would I ever walk again, so I didn't know what was going to happen in future. Philip's mom found out about cure in Zambia and Philip received corrective surgery on both legs and stayed there for his recovery. I think that is one of the happiest moments of my life. After healing, I was really excited, really excited. I felt this is the change I've been waiting for in my life. Philip finished school and even pursued a master's degree. Looking at where I've come from, I never thought I would ever get a master's, I would ever reach master's level. Family-wise, I would be the first one to get a master's actually. So it's quite a great achievement for me because uh, I uh, sponsored myself through the master's course. Children with disabilities are often bullied, like Chisoma, who was born with clubfoot. Life wasn't easy for me. People they were calling me chimpanzee. I used to stay under the tree all alone, like, what is this world all about? Did I choose to become like this? No, I didn't. Chisomo had surgery at Cure Malawi in 2003, and her world changed. Then there was a difference. For the first time, people were like coming to me, Chisomo, you know what, we are sorry. We didn't know that this problem can be treated, so we would like you to be our friends again. So I had so many friends, lots of them. It was lovely, it was so wonderful, like, I don't know, I can't <laughs> know how to, I, I, I can explain about it, but it was, it was so good. 14 years later, Chisomo wanted to give back to the place she'd come to love and began to volunteer at the hospital. When I was there, they loved me, they cared for me, and I need to pay back by loving them as well. So I started volunteering. And this one said, ah, Chisomo, I think we need you. We need you to explain to people, parents and kids who are at your, at your age then, explain to them what happened to you, how your life is. I was working with spiritual, and then I was working with kids in the playroom. I usually use like songs, clapping hands, just to make them laugh, feel that they are home. Like the way I was treated before I was at Kiwa. When you're at Kiwa, it's like you're at your house. You feel everything's there. It's just, I don't know, paradise. Maybe I can put it in that way. <laughs> For Princess, Philip and Chisomo, treatment at Cure changed their lives and rewrote their story. What I like to do when I am alone is just write on my diary, play the ukulele, and sometimes I would just walk by the seashore and just think about the things that I would still want to do when I grow up. Philip has a dream of raising awareness for people in need with a movement he started called the One Percent. So One Percent basically looks at a minority of people who are making a difference despite the challenges we're going through. So I've been trying to engage people to make a difference 
And not only with the workplace, I've also been trying to engage uh, doctors with regards to men's health. <laughs> Chisomo has a new life with friends and a bright future. After I finished my secondary school, I started um, a college called Malawi Institute of Tourism. Now I've got so many friends in college. I can say that everyone, everyone, even the one who are watching me, they're also my friends. <laughs> I am not quite sure yet what I want to do when I grow up, but having the opportunity to be treated at Tibokir Hospital, it has made it easier for me to reach my dreams and ambitions in life. People are equally created and we don't need to feel less because of our disability. God has given us a special talent. We should thank Him for what we have than what we don't.